Hi, welcome to Cocktails at Cloud9. I'm Rachel and today I'll be talking to George about how to make a cosmopolitan. Hi George, how are you going? Good, thank you Rachel. That's good. Um, now, it's one of my favourite cocktails. Um, I heard about it from Sex in the City and I was just wondering, is that how it was made famous? Well, in a way, yes. Um, it was actually firstly invented by a bartender in New York called Toby Ciccini and later on um, it was tweaked a little bit and served up to Madonna in the Rainbow Room by uh, the King of Cocktails, Dale de Groff, and from there it became pretty famous when the paparazzi took a photo of it, and obviously when it came out in Sex in the City, it, it, it launched uh, all over the world, and all, uh, all women have wanted to drink it ever since. So. Okay, great. Would well, you want to show us how it's made? Yeah, for sure. Thank you. Well, the first thing we're going to do is we're going to ice down the glass, because we don't want to make a nice cold cocktail and pour it into a warm glass. Sure. So always make sure you prepare your glassware. Okay, so in a Boston shaker, you're going to use 45 mils of absolute citron vodka for our strong element. And it's a lemon flavored, citrus flavored vodka. A little bit of sweetness, Quantro. Delicious orange flavour liqueur from France. Now we need to add a sour element to balance out the sweetness. So we're going to put some lime juice in. Sure. So why do you roll the lime first? Uh, the reason I roll the lime is I tend to get a lot more juice out of the lime if you roll it because it actually separates the membrane from the skin. So okay. we want to try to get as much lime as we can out of, or as much juice as we can out of our limes because they are expensive. I'm going to do 15 mils there. So how long have you been bartending for, George? Been bartending now for uh, nearly 10 years. So, and loving it. So, yeah. 30 mils of cranberry juice. I like to use ocean spray. It tastes delicious. Get rid of that ice there. And we're going to double strain it into a cocktail glass. So why are you double straining there? The reason I like to double strain, Rachel, is just to make sure that we remove any ice particles. Okay. As you can see there. Just so that it doesn't, they don't float at the top of the drink yeah. or over dilute the drink. Okay. So we're going to garnish it the same way that Dale de Groff did. And that's by using an orange flame zest. So what does heating up the orange do there? Uh, what, it, what it's actually doing is it's just heating up the oils in the orange and we're going to spray a nice caramelised orange flame over the drink. This really complements the contro. Drop it in. A little bit of fun there. Most of the cocktail purists would laugh at, but I like to just put the straw on the side. Thank there you. Have the cosmopolitan. Thanks, George. I'll just taste test it. Delicious. Thank you, George. And that's all for cocktails on Cloud9 today. We'll see you next time. Thank you.